Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week one assignment of the course programming in Java. Guys, for the past five to six years, we have been providing solutions for various NPTEL courses. So let us start the video guys. If you are new to our channel, definitely subscribe our channel to get instant updates and definitely like the video guys. This is the most important part. If you like the video, our channel and our videos will reach more number of students so that they will also get benefited by you right and please share this within your whatsapp on official student groups which of the following is true so for first question third option option c java uses both interpreter and compiler so mark third option as the probable solution for first question now let's move on to the second one Second question, a Java file with extension dot class dot class contains what? So for second question, also option C Java bytecode is the probable solution. So mark option C as the probable solution for second question also. Guys, uh, these are completely our probable solutions. If there are any changes, definitely we will mention that in the comment section. So before final submission, once again check the comment sections for any updates available or not. But I think almost all solutions are 100% correct. Right? Next, which of the following is not an object oriented programming paradigm? Not. So for third question, option D dynamic memory allocation so mark option D as the probable solution for third question now let's move on to the fourth one fourth question consider the following code sorry guys so before this question there is another question right guys please watch the video till then don't skip the video you may miss some content like this right so next question what will be the output of the following java code so for fourth question first option 32 is the probable solution guys next fifth one fifth question what is the correct sequence of steps to execute a java program so first we have to edit the program that means write the code so first it should be 2 I mean the edit next we have to compile the program afterward we will run the program so first edit next compile after that finally run so option D edit compile run it is the proper sequence so mark option D as the probable solution for fifth question right guys before moving into the next next question I want to make a small announcement so that is regarding exam preparation MCQs exam preparation MCQs for the course programming in Java guys these are past NPTEL assignment MCQs you will get that huge number of 300 MCQs guys 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link huge number of 300 MCQs for one person 300 guys if you take it along with your friends or classmate you can get it for combined price of 500 so five members or two members can share that 500 price so please share this news with your friends and classmates and do form a group one person from the group take the lead and mail me to this email id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so this is our mail id guys so already many students professors and even associate professors have also taken our various in pdf packs guys so take it now itself so that you can prepare from now and you can get more time to revise at the end towards heading to the exam right so huge number of 300 MCQs these are past NPTEL assignment MCQs 100% NPTEL syllabus 300 MCQs 
one person three hundred rupees for two to five persons combinedly five hundred rupees. This is the mail ID bk one seven nine four one seven at the rate gmail dot com. So if you want to know the payment procedure, mail me to this email ID guys. And there is another uh, MCQ pack that is hundred plus MCQ pack, but it is YouTube membership. You have to join the YouTube channel as a member. For one person, it is eighty nine rupees only, but hundred plus MCQs, and it is available in video format for one month validity. The PDF validity will be till the exam results day, guys. Till the exam results publishing day. So no need to worry about the validity. But YouTube membership validity will be one day. I mean one month. For one person, eighty nine rupees only video format, not PDF, and hundred plus MCQ is only available. If you want this YouTube membership, no need to mail us. You can directly go to our YouTube channel page. So S Kumar Edu is our YouTube channel page. Beside the subscribe button, there is a join button. So click on this. Then a small window will open like this. Select the second one, videos only for members pack. That is 89 per month pack, right? So select this and click on the blue color join button and fill in the required details and make payment directly to YouTube, not to us. You can make payment directly to YouTube. So after that you can get access to this playlist, members only videos. So here you can see we have prepared many videos for many subjects. You can get all these videos for the same 89 rupees. No extra charge needed. And you can see programming in Java. Part two is there and part one is also there. If you click on play all button, if you elaborate the videos, you can get that as well. But my suggestion is, if you are going to prepare in a final exam point of view, it's better to take this huge number of 300 MCQs pack because it is a Google Drive PDF. You can easily scroll every question and you can easily learn. For one person 300, for two to five persons combinedly 500. So please inform your friends guys to form a group of two to five persons and take it for 500 rupees only combinedly. Even if you are one person, no need to worry. You can get it for three hundred. So bk one seven nine four one seven at the rate gmail dot com. So this is the mail ID. If you want YouTube membership hundred plus MCQs, you can directly join our channel as a member. My suggestion is it's better to take this huge number of three hundred MCQs pack due to more syllabus coverage, right? So that's it, guys. Now let's get back to the solutions. So next question. Next question. What is the output of the above code? So this will print, right? So first option is the probable solution. So next, what is the primary focus of Java programming? So for this question, option C, platform independence. Option C is the probable solution, guys. So mark option C. Next, next question. Which of the following programming principles is a key aspect of Java? Key aspect of Java. So option C, object-oriented programming. Once again, option C, guys. Next question. Next question, guys. What is the primary purpose of JVM, Java Virtual Machine, in the Java programming language? So the answer is option B is the probable solution, guys. Platform independence. it is not completely depend upon platform which platform you are executing that right so mark option b and next moving on to the last question of the assignment what is the output of the above code so for this question option a 50 is the correct answer guys option a is the probable solution for final question So friends these are the most probable solutions for week 1 assignment of the course programming in java hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same definitely subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share this news with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 mcq pdf pack guys so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you